Waiter, I've been looking at the menu, and I would like the filet medium rare, bacon wrapped, of course, with the Parmesan sauce and the new baby potatoes and a side of asparagus. Menus, right? This stuff. Now, I think I've made myself hungry just by saying that, but menus give us a list of available things, whether it's in a restaurant and you're ordering or it's in Adobe Photoshop or any other program, stuff. And trust me on this, you know this, there's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, you go down, down on some of these menus and go on forever and ever and ever. Wouldn't it be nice if we could control what's in these menus? Now, the first time this became available in Photoshop, to me, it was like, well, I guess that's okay, but I don't think I'd ever use that. I don't mind coming all the way down here, say, to get to flatten the image, even though I never use this, 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 or this. They're there. They're fine. Who knows? Someday, maybe I will use them. But having multiple different menu systems that concentrate just on what I'm working on at that moment actually did start to make sense. Well, let's do this. Go up to the word edit on the pull down menu and go down to menus. Now, in menus, what we have is number one, Photoshop defaults right up here. You can choose from the menu applications or the menu panels. It's up to you, either one. Let's go to application menus and go into, say, edit. Now, here's all our edit stuff, all the different things that we do with edit. And let's say we go up to fade. Now, fade is a feature that basically, in my opinion, is old school. It was there before adjustment layers came out. I very seldom, if ever, use fade at all. And you say, okay, well, maybe I don't want it in my menus because I'm never going to use it. You actually have two choices here. Let's start with the one that's called color. If I come over here and click and say, make fade red, and then click OK, if I come back up to the edit menu, you will notice fade is now red. What does that do? Well, it's kind of like highlighting in a book, isn't it? Where there's something that you want to see. And there's so many things in here. Being able to see one of those things highlighted, I don't know, I guess that's not too bad. Let's get back into edit, go down to menus again. Let's turn that back to none. Here's the other one. That's visibility. If I click it and click OK, fade has faded from my menu. It's no longer there. And again, this took me a while to wrap my mind around it and think about why would I want to do this. I can have as many of these as I want. Let's come back down here again. And let's go into edit. We can turn that one back on. You will notice up here it says that it's been modified. If I click this button right here, I can save different custom menus, like maybe one that concentrates primarily on me working in text in Photoshop, or one that concentrates mostly on me working in 3D, and I turn off everything else that I don't need. Now, you might come back someday and go, oh, man, I wish I hadn't done that. Well, I mean, it was kind of fun. I wanted to try it. But, you know, to be honest with you, I just wish I could go back to normal. And you can click here, and it will list all of yours. And you have one called Defaults. And if you click it, it'll say, do you want to save what we did? And I don't. And if I click OK, then whatever changes you made are now gone. But I find it, after I thought about it, something that actually wasn't too bad. And I now actually have menu systems. Some of them almost have nothing in them because I'm concentrating and focusing on just one kind of thing in Photoshop. So it did take me a while, I will admit, to figure out how useful they would be. And in my workflow, they actually do work pretty good. You might want to give them a try. Menu control.